We are trying to warm things up back to around 50 degrees at least after a frigid start for October standards. Temperatures down to around the freezing mark this morning. Here's a live look in Roanoke with your airport sky cam. Winds are still calm. It is all things considered pleasant, especially if you're standing in the sun. Feels quite nice without the breeze. 50 in Lynchburg, 52 now in South Boston, working our way back to the middle 50s after a date with the upper 20s in Martinsville this morning. Low to mid 50s in the New River Valley. We had the cold pretty much everywhere, at least the cooler air. Back off towards the West Chicago, we're at 50, 45 degrees in International Falls. We have another chunk of cooler air coming in as we get towards the middle part of this work week. High pressure overhead that is keeping our skies mainly clear for the next several days. We are also going to keep our skies mainly clear, so some good opportunity to continue, continue to dry things out. That area of high pressure will slide back to the east, and that'll kick our winds out of the south to kind of warm us up a little bit more. Starting this afternoon and really getting into tomorrow. There's 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon today. Just a few passing clouds. Otherwise, we are going to see sunshine dominate our skies. We are clear again tonight. With that high moving away, we'll have a little bit more wind five ish miles an hour, so nothing too crazy, but that'll help to keep our temperatures up. Relatively speaking, talking upper 30s tonight. There's three o'clock tomorrow morning getting ready for work. We are talking about a cool, crisp start again with the potential for some frost. Hurricane Willa now a category five hurricane winds 160 miles an hour just off the coast of Mexico. Expected to make landfall as a major hurricane over the next 24 to 36 hours in Mexico. Watch what happens though. This quickly weakens over the mountainous terrain of Mexico. There's Wednesday morning at seven o'clock in the morning and then eventually it works its way up through Texas. This could help to spawn a bigger system for the southeast corner of the United States, getting into one of those coastal storms, those nor'easters as we know them, at least some of its energy. You see there, there's four or five o'clock on Friday. You see a big swath of rain, even some mountain snow possible as it will be cool enough in the higher elevations at this point and you see what happens just rolls on up. Now there's still a lot of things to in play here. We still have that system. Of course, will it herself off the Mexican coast with some of the steering currents still well off into Canada again four or five days away. So a little too early to talk about potential impacts, but you see there looks like again clouds going to start to increase late Thursday and depending upon the track we can get wind and rain. So another active potentially active anyway, a couple of days coming as we close out the work week. 63 degrees this afternoon, a nice rebound in the temperature department, upper 60s tomorrow. So there's our relatively warmer day. Upper 50s on Wednesday, staying in the 50s on Thursday with those extra clouds. And then there's that potential system coming through on Friday, Saturday into parts of Sunday because of those extra clouds and showers. Temperatures going to struggle mightily. Only 40s and 50s coming our way, Patrick. Going to be quite chilly it for is. us. You talk about that rain that's coming in and really we still don't need to see it because no. even after several dry days, the ground's still pretty wet. Well, yeah, we were talking earlier this morning how at least it's not soupy as it was. It, right, it's not a swamp. You can still feel that the grass is wet, so that would not be something that we want by any means. We're keeping a close eye on it for sure. Absolutely. Thank you, Jonathan. You got it.